are shutting. Lawn mode at 10 p.m. <laughs> going on a trip, going on a trip. <laughs> What's a good trip where you're hiking without a spray? You ready to go? Let's go. <laughs> we forgot. Yes. Some yes. stuff at the house, so we're actually back. No road trip is complete without a trip back into the house. <laughs> <laughs> So, because I was a fourth grader, um, all fourth graders get a free national park pass, so you can get into any national park for free. Being based out of the Twin Cities in Minnesota, we looked at all of the national parks that were available to us, and most of the ones that we wanted to visit were west. West. A lot of what's most fun for me about a trip is actually planning it and involving the boys in it. It's super fun to go through books with them or look at Google Maps and see like, oh, there's a cool restaurant here we want to try and we look at the rating. Because as you know, when I travel, we have to look at food, where we're going to stay, food, what we're going to do, and what food. It's really hard to get that one out. Our first stop on the way to Badlands was um, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. I looked up foods that were well known in South Dakota, um, and Chislik came up. I never heard of Chislik until today. We're gonna go to Falls Park and eat a little Chislik. All right, here's the Chislik. I hope I don't throw. So this is lamb meat that we're eating. Hmm. Tastes like a meatball. Hmm. Matt? It's really good. I really liked it. I know that not everybody did. I took a bite and I hated it. <laughs> I just said it's one of those things when you're planning it and looking at the computer, you think, am I gonna love this or is this gonna be like a big waste of everyone's time? And I love it. Sometimes you would find these parts where you could just jump on the rocks and climb them. And then we found chipmunks and we I think we saw their home, cause it was like in a rock or something, maybe. The falls are nice, they're crisp, dirty, definitely not fresh to drink. You'd probably get real sick, start puking. If you hate puking, don't try it all. And then, uh, yeah, let's go to the Corn Palace. We looked at the artwork on the outside of the building and it's really intricate and really cool that they make them into pictures. They make them into art. So I've been there two times before, and had this delicious corn on the cob. Jill was, like, really excited. Jill? Right. <laughs> Mom! Jill was really excited! <laughs> Apparently didn't have corn on the cob and had popcorn. Why not just call it the Popcorn Palace? Can we seriously go look at those TYs? Yep, come on. Souvenir shop in the middle, which I... Walked in, see like a chump, and we ended up with... <gasps> Squeak! Elliot, what did you just see back there? The Joker. At what restaurant? McDonald's. And what color hair does the Joker have? Red. We usually call him Ronald McDonald. <laughs> We were just using the Badlands kind of as a stopping point um, to get farther out west so that we could actually end up in Yellowstone. When I looked for sites, I intentionally went online and you can see what the view would be from that campsite. So I intentionally looked for one with a cool view, um, one that was kind of by the bathrooms, not too close to the bathrooms. Although there were some swallows by the bathrooms, I had a nest right above the men's one and so that was kind of annoying. The boys had walking tacos for the first time ever. I pronounce it. Waco taco. Why is it called a walking taco when you eat it while you're sitting down? We're making walking tacos tonight. Olives, sour cream, meat, cheese, flies, apparently not in it. Mmm! Mm. We're doing this every night, right? You can't do a campfire here because there's been a lot of fires. So we just made cold s'mores. You just basically grab graham crackers, don't melt anything. You just put a flat marshmallow like this in, 
then a Hershey's chocolate bar or any type of chocolate that you like. So after dinner, we decided to go on a little hike and what I thought were rock formations were actually just really hard um, packed dirt. It was definitely way bigger than our car, way. It's so ginormous, it was so ginormous. I think I made it. Elliot! Kind of on the side. So I saw Elliot was stuck on a portion and he was really scared. So he kind of butt scooched and I held his hand and then we walked along other parts. And there's like a eight foot drop below me. So like I could have flipped, broke my neck, broken all my bones if I landed on my butt, broken my arm, or I could have just died. From my perspective, it didn't seem like it was very dangerous, but... I almost died. Not all of our journey is fun. So the next morning we packed up. Uh, we cleaned the tent. We left Badlands National Park before the office opened or the gift shop, so we missed patches. And what we do is the boys have these backpacks for school, and on them we have patches from places we've visited. Volcanoes, Grand Canyon, Hot Springs, and that is it. So after 400 miles of wall drug signs, Jill just said, is this the exit? They have way too much signs. Apparently, not enough for me. So after the Badlands, we went to Wall Drug. I don't know how to explain it, except it has like a restaurant. They have like this really cute chapel in there and they have these carved wood figures. And we found one that Elliot had posed with when he was little. And then we went back to it and had him sit with that old carved wood guy again. Jill, it's out of order. You're out of order. We all got donuts. I got a fresh chocolate donut. Mm. Mm. That's good. It's homemade here at Wall Drug, which is not a home. And this tastes like any other water. But it's icy cold. Doesn't make a difference. And I bought a stuffed animal there, jackalope. And then, wealth. But we didn't stay long and we just kept on moving. So at Mount Rushmore, we made sandwiches. We sat and ate just staring at the old dude's faces. Mount Rushmore was really cool. When we went into the gift shop, we saw a painter and what they were painting almost looked like, no, you did not paint that. It was so awesome. This is me and the boys making a wall behind Matt so we can film something. If you're coming in the summer months, you're probably gonna get hot weather. And as long as you're prepared and the kids have drinks and you stick to the shade as much as you can, it's good. So when you come in, you come in, you get this ticket, which is an annual pass. And they don't really give you any good, clear instructions on when to pay. You pay any time. You can pay when you get there or when you exit, but you gotta pay before you exit. There's pay stations on the level where you parked, but they do have pay stations by the entrance as well. They've got about four. So again, all on the same day, we went from Mount Rushmore then out to Devil's Tower, and none of us have been to Devil's Tower. Um, I have actually never been to Wyoming. It's amazing even driving up to it because it stands out in the distance. It's such a cool thing to see. And it was a pleasant surprise to know that National Monuments take National Park cards! Elliot's Park Pass actually works at Monuments as well. So Devil's Tower also goes by the name Bears Teepee. It's T-I-P-I. Um, and it's cool because there are legends that bears, giant bears, like, scraped down the side of this rock. We're gonna go this way, down here, then we're there. Then we just loop around, then we come back. Okay. We did climb over a little bit of rock, so we could be like, we touched Devil's Tower. And as we got down on the path and went along farther, we realized water. you get even closer to it. So we didn't need to do any of that climbing. After you park, when you're going up, if you're looking to just get as close as possible without doing the entire hike, don't go to your left, go to your right. And that's the shorter part to get you closer to the tower. So I was having fun the whole time, it was a good hike, 
until... Elliot had climbed a rock and Quinn wanted to climb on it too, so he got up there but didn't realize like as he stood up, he hit his head on another rock. We put ice on it in the car. It felt way better the next day. On our way back out though, what was really cool. There was this doe. A deer. A female. Deer. And it was like right there, like super close. It's not a bad hike. It's There's some incline, but hardly. Um, but you go wide around it. So we saw the Devil's Tower, uh, but we didn't see the Devil. After Devil's Tower, we stopped at a hotel. We decided to break up these four weeks um, with some hotels. So me and Quinn, because it was kind of during the Summer Olympics time, <coughs> we're doing synchronized jumping into the pool. I went to jump, but it was a short place, but he went like, jump, bam, and hurt my neck. The day before, Quinn had gotten hurt and we had to do a little nursing of those wounds. And then this day, when you have kids, you just kind of can't plan everything. For the next three days, I think, my head was like this, like literally. We were on our way to Pompeii's Pillar when we saw signs for Little Big Horn. We thought, man, what a great opportunity. So we pulled off, and again, the pass got us in for free. We spent a couple hours there and we were able to explore where the battle had taken place. We love history. Um, the boys love anything with a battle. I always love something that includes war. It was just cool to see where a battle was and like walk there. It was really moving. It was really interesting to be able to be in the exact spot where you hear all the stories when you're growing up and you read in your history books about where this battle takes place. Really cool to see how they honored both sides of that conflict. And to be there and to see where um, each of the men who were involved had fallen. We were able to stop at a restaurant that had really good reviews. It was called Montana Brewing Company, and we had looked at like, they had delicious drinks, delicious food. Elliot's Rocky one has Rocky Mountain Crab in it, and I'm so jealous. I'm gonna have some of it. I got Keto Mac. Matt's got the classic burger. Quinn, classic Quinn, has chicken tenders and fries. Also, um, Huckleberry Lemonade and Strawberry Lemonade, yum. And then one of our last destinations of that day was Pompeii's Pillar. Sometimes we really love the visitor centers and we're like, let's do it. Today's a tired, want to see the thing and go day, especially because E is still having neck troubles. We're trying to take it easy, go slow, go back to the pool. So what's cool about Pompeii's Pillar is it has that physical evidence of these dudes having been there, these guys that I've read about. And anytime I visit a historical site, that's how I feel, like I'm time traveling. Okay, so here we are at um, William Clark's, William, obviously we knew his first name, William Clark's um, little kind of signature there in the stone. While me on a bench had to stare at it miserably with my neck for Two minutes. Two minutes! People! This is two minutes! Two minutes! <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Dad, Dad, look at that. Is it, what is that? We're walking down, we see a ton of them. We ran into one of the park rangers who explained to us that it's called a yellow-bellied marmot. That is the weirdest name you could ever name an animal. And then we stared at the marmot for two minutes. I could be in the car. It was a cool visit and I'm glad we did it even though it was like, it was hot. I feel like shade is our friend and we keep finding shade wherever we can. People Am can I throw you? shade at me all day. <laughs> Please throw shade our way. Another one. We just saw Pompey's Pillar. And who got us in? Elliot. Thanks, Elliot. Thanks, Elliot. And we made sure that even though it was a journey day, that it was a special day for us too. I had also looked up this ice cream parlor that I wanted to go to. It had really great reviews. The ice cream was so good. And as we sat there eating, we just told jokes, like terrible jokes, but really, really funny ones, and just made each other laugh. We're at Sweet Haven for some sweet treats. Mint chocolate. 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 Mint chocol
Chocolate. This looks amazing. We went to 12 or 10 national parks. We hiked, we climbed, and we camped. So this is the beginning of a four-week road trip. We're going to have a series of videos sharing about all of our experiences in all these national parks that we visited. Thanks for watching this video. Yellowstone is next. Yellowstone! <laughs> Quinn has offered to be Elliot's chiropractor. How do you feel about that? I have a feeling all he would do to help is punch me in the neck. <laughs>